what's up? This is Angel Writer Speaks, and I just want to talk to you on a serious note for a moment. I wrote about something recently in my blog that I'm just starting to uh, write again, and it's down below here if you want to take a look. And basically, it's been some disappointment I've been feeling lately. Right now, I am on this creative drive just to create and do the things that I've always wanted to do. And unfortunately, it feels like I don't have the support behind me. Now with YouTube, it's not really like that because I've been lucky enough to get responses to my videos, even if it's just two or three, at least it's something. But it seems like on my blog TV channel, it's not like that right now, or not anymore. The friends that used to come to my shows aren't, and some of them, or some of the groups that used to, that I used to hang out with have become very closed and kind of clicky. It's understandable why some people leave some of those groups. But there still are a few that I go to, a few shows that I like to go to because A, it's where I started, it's my foundation, B, I can be myself, C, um, there's a camaraderie, I can actually feel like I'm a part of the group and, you know, we can have an interaction and have fun, D, I can chill out, and there's very few of those on blog anymore. And then every once in a while, I like to step out of that box and go to shows I've never been to, but I've always had them as friends, wondering why, and then just showing up at the shows and see what they're about. I mean, it's really weird how Block TV isn't as fun as it used to be. I can see why some of my friends who understand what I'm going through have uh, either gone through the same things or... They're go, you know, they're going through it now, like I am. It almost feels like the community is not a community, a we thing, and we support each other. To me, it's more about sort of the me versus the us versus them mentality, the you versus I thing. Oh, so since you're doing all this and you got your website, that means you don't need me as a friend anymore. Well, that's bullshit, and that's not true. I actually need you more than ever to support me and to help promote what I do. I mean, that's what the idea of a creative community is about, what an internet community is about, no matter what interest or what topic or what subject. But unfortunately, it seems like a lot of people don't see it that way, and that's pretty disappointing. I've also been finding out that connecting with the right people really helps to achieve your goal, and I've been finding myself connecting more to the creatives, to the people who are aligning up with my goals, to the outsiders. One thing that I've come across with my own channel that unfortunately I feel like is dying out right now from viewers and chatters is that it's become more of an outsider's haven. And I think maybe that's that's a signal to go in that direction. Instead of being like everyone else, even if I try something different that works, have the outsider slant. Outsiders are welcome. Screw the normalcy. Embrace the weirdness. I mean, I don't know anymore, you know? I feel like I'm in sort of this limbo at the moment. The one thing I do know is that the people that I've talked to about this know where I'm coming from and they get it. And I think that's why I feel like a bond is, and even probably deeper friendships are going to develop from that. It just really sucks though. I mean, here you are supporting other people, you're going to the shows, you're having a good time, but then when it comes to your shit, they could care less. And I think that's where the whole promotion and marketing hard work comes in, but why can't it happen before you start doing all that shit? I just don't like the idea that I'm being treated like I have a disease or I'm like the bastard at the family reunion to quote Dolly Parton from 9 to 5 because that's how I feel right now it's like what did I do I mean 
if you like my stuff, why don't you support me? Get buy my shit. I've been advertising. I got it on my site. Do I have to constantly remind you every time you come into the room to make sure you have the money to buy it? And if I'm supporting you, why aren't you supporting me? I mean, you say my show and all that is good, but you're not there. Now, if you have legitimate excuses, that's one thing. But if you're not doing going to my shows just to be an ass, just because you don't feel like it, or just because, you know, so one of your other friends is having a show and you'd rather go there instead, then who needs you? I mean, I'm seriously at the point that, you know, if certain people don't come to my room anymore, you know, especially people that I once connected to and don't, or they're like a side thing, fuck them. I'm deleting them. No if, ands, or buts. And it's one thing saying that you support somebody, but show me the money. Show me that you're supporting me. Don't just give me mere words to make me feel comfortable. Just, just, oh, I know how you feel, and I'll blah, 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 blah. No. Show me the money. Support me. Get your ass to my shows. And if you don't, without a legitimate excuse, then you were never meant to be my friend. You were never a real online friend to begin with. Case closed.